Well, a lot of you have probably seen me up here uh, play music for the Testify shows uh, as a somewhat professional musician, but I didn't start that way. As a matter of fact, my bachelor's degree is in music education, and I'm all level certified, so I can teach kindergarten through 12th grade. When you graduate from college, your last semester, you have to student teach. So I had to student teach a whole semester. The second half of the semester was at a high school, but the first half was at an elementary school. And the elementary school was James Bowie Elementary. It was a good size, it was probably about 700 students or so. And out of all the adults on campus, all the teachers and the administration and the custodial staff and even the student teachers, I think there was about seven or eight of us, there were two men on campus. There was the principal who went by the name Dr. Patterson and all the teachers said that he probably got his doctorate from like a claw machine at a circus or something. <laughs> and then there was me. And I've had my beard forever, you know, and I had, I had ties with like Mickey Mouse playing a saxophone and things like that. And kindergarten through second grade, they always called me Miss. Hey, Miss Hall, what, what are we doing today? And I'd say, no, it's Mr. Hall. Okay, Miss Hall. And I'm like, fine, whatever. I, I don't care. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize this, but elementary students actually have a lot of like musical skills, so they'll match your pitch really well. So when I would sing to them, don't put a face on my pumpkin. They, they try to go a little do You have to sing up high and you have to dance around and do all this stuff. So third grade through fifth grade, they always called me coach. Hey, coach, what are we singing or dancing today? I was like, coach? It's like, yeah, whatever. So you have to be observed and graded. And the university supervisor from my college was this lady named Dr. Walls. She was about 65. She's probably about five foot four. She's built like a football player. You know, Ricky, I'm coming to observe you. Are you ready? Really tough. You know, if you got in a bar fight, you'd want her on her on your side. Oh, I forgot to mention that she also had this beautifully, meticulously sculpted, bright white beehive of a hairdo that added about four or five inches to her to her height. You know, like half a can of Aquanet every morning or something. So it's time for the observation. And uh, the elementary teacher that I'm under cannot be in the room, so she has to leave. And it's close to Halloween, and I have to choose the lesson and all these kinds of things. So, you know, I'm all ready, okay. So the students come in, it's second grade, and Dr. Wall is in the back at a table. So they find their spots, there you go, you know, sit in your spots, everyone's all ready. And over here in the corner is a kid named Henry, now, Henry, we're all adults here, right? H Henry's what the teachers call the toot. Henry's a toot. Henry won't be still. He won't stop talking. Sit down, Henry. Sit in your spot. Why are you walking around? You already used the bathroom, Henry. So, and when you plot, plot out the lesson plan, you also have to uh, list, like, you have to observe certain students and know what they do. So, for example, you know, I would write down Lottie, creative and uh, very smart, Mark, discipline problems, you know, whatever. And I had put Henry on there, and I thought, I'm going to make Henry my helper. I think that'll be good brownie points. So they come in and sit, and I'm like, Henry, everyone freeze up. Come up here. You're going you're gonna to be my helper for the day. He's like, okay. So he comes up. So we clap some rhythms, you know, who's got the ghost with the most, and, and we sing some songs. Pumpkin, pumpkin. It's the actually don't put a face on my pumpkin, all that kind of stuff. Okay, Miss Hall, we're ready. So we're going to do some music appreciation and they're going to sit in their spots, and they're going to color on these sheets and write down what they hear and what they feel and all these kinds of things. And I got to choose all of this. So there was this piece of music that I had heard when I was a freshman in college that I loved. I was like, this is amazing, and this is uh, beyond its time. And, it's, you know, and I, I said, this is the piece I want to use. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's great. So they're all sitting, you know, and, okay, Henry, you're doing good. Everyone's all set. And I said, okay, now we're going to do some music appreciation. We're going to listen to a song that's written for piano. Can everyone t point to the piano? So they're all pointing. Yes, that's right. And this is by an American composer, and his name is, and I look at Henry, it's Henry Cowell. So everyone looks at Henry, ooh, it's Henry Cowell. This is like an old song. It's like from 1920s or so. Oh, it's so much fun. This is a song called The Banshee. All the kids are like, ooh. And you know, they watch me like a hawk, right, because I miss Hall. Ooh. And I'm like, does anyone know what a banshee is? No, Miss Hall, no. Okay, you ready? I'm going to tell you how smart I am. This is how smart I am. 
Okay, kids, a banshee is a ghost. Then when you hear it scream, you die, right? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So I hit play. I'm like, I'm a genius. And the music starts going, and it's this. It's someone plays inside the piano, and they scrape the strings and pick. And it's, it sounds like a cat screeching and strings stretching, and it's this big sound mass. And actually, I asked Mark. I gave Mark a clip. Mark, if you can play a little bit of that. Second grade. Beautiful. I'm a genius. Now, I see some of the students start looking around. They're on the ground. And they're kind of get, getting up. You need to sit down. And Henry, you need to sit down. What's going on? And I feel this tug on my leg. And I look down, and there's a girl in the class. And she's tugging my pants. And she looks at me, and she's got these beautiful blue eyes that are just filled with tears. And she's like, Miss Hall, I'm really scared. It's just, a, it's just a song. It's not. And all of a sudden, this one now is like, Miss Hall, I'm scared too. And I, I'm scared too. And all of a sudden, once I realize it, about half the class is like, crying and wandering around. I have two kids on each leg or the other half is like getting ready for a fight. Or so. They're all looking up in the sky and of course the CD players on the other side of the class and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've just lost control of this class. And I look and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's my university supervisor, Dr. Walls staring at me and she's staring me right in the face and she gets her pen and amidst all of this screeching of sound and all these kids crying, she clicks her pen. I can hear it echo. And she starts writing. I'm like, I'm ruined. I've, I've, just lost, I've, just, I've just lost it. I'm never going to be able to teach again or anything. To be honest, I don't really know what happened after that. I calmed them down, wiped some noses in, in tears, got them situated, sent them off to class. But it's kind of a blur. And the teacher came in. Oh, I bet you did fine. You bet you did fine. And that night, my wife came home from work. How was your observation? Well, I made the kids cry, and I don't know. Oh, I'm sure it was fine. I'm sure it was fine. And then you meet every once in a while at the university, and Dr. Walls, Ricky, how you doing? And I was really fighting not to get on my hands and knees and say, please don't fail me. Well, you know my observation. Oh, it was fine. It was fine. I thought, I must have been in a different room. I don't, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> I scarred these kids for life, I think. <laughs> so then I'm doing... Um, high school I'm doing I'm a student teaching at the for the marching band but the elementary school is doing a winter a Christmas concert and I thought oh I need to go see them you know see them perform and sing and I can say hi to a few of the kids and all those kinds of things so I went to the concert and saw them you know they were great and uh, they all came around me like you know like I was like Superman and they had to touch my cape or something it's like oh Miss Hall Miss Hall I was like yeah how are you doing some of the parents were looking at me this Miss Hall you know I was like yes how are you doing and I could see them oh how are you doing how are you doing and I looked and there's little Henry Henry how are you doing oh I'm doing good Miss Hall I'm doing good Miss Hall and the whole time they're around me and I'm touching their hands I'm thinking of the banshee and how I had scarred these kids for life or ruined their, I don't know what, but uh, I guess I didn't scar them that bad. Thank you.